Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Lady Lorian show. This is Ruthie. I'm joined today by Dodge, Kath, Kinsey, and we're very excited because we have a very, very, very special guest today who is near and dear to our hearts, the uncle of the Lady Lorian's family tree, the one and only go-getter Greg. Hello, Greg. How are I you? I wasn't, wasn't special enough until, uh, until, until this just now. The last year and a half. <laughs> Last year and a half, I was definitely uh, on the sideline. <laughs> Let us explain. Let us explain. <laughs> we wanted you on literally like the one of our, the first episodes. But right when we like started filming, you guys like were obviously posting still. And you were like talking about how you don't like to be on other podcasts. I don't. I don't. I know. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. We were kind but of intimidated by you. Oh, you're too cool what? for us people so. people tell me that a lot that I, they're intimidated by me and i'm just like good but also why <laughs> <laughs> i think it's because like you're you're like super lax but like because you're you're like super chill around like all the people that you're close to so we're like well we don't want to like make you feel like uncomfortable joining our podcast or anything well i also Listen. feel like you know michael has like golden retriever energy <laughs> uh, yeah no that's that's exactly and then being on is. a show next to him it's kind of hard to it's, it's draining it's draining for the whatever laziest dog you can reference in the opposite no. of, my, of a golden retriever uh yeah it's, it's exhausting <laughs> so it's like i don't have time or energy for another podcast yes, uh also fair. i just don't that's like fair. I podcast for Michael. I don't podcast because I want to podcast. So it's more like, <laughs> yeah, when I don't, I don't. Yeah, people are like, oh, Greg, you want to come on podcast? And I usually just don't respond. Whoops. <laughs> That's um, what I was afraid of. Yeah, Dodge entrapped I, you by making sure it was asked on the podcast. I also guilted you guys for like a year and a half. So I figured <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was like self-obligated myself to accept the invitation. We you were like, like, my time has come. Like, I yeah. owe it to them. Okay, before Dodge tells the iconic story of how we invited you on to our show today, um, why don't you give us a brief introduction? I know the majority of our fans, um, or listeners rather, um, are Rex and Round fans. And so they're familiar with you and Michael and we talk very casually, like everybody knows, but you know, our parents listen to this and uh, they don't listen to Rex and Round. <laughs> okay, so okay. maybe, maybe just fair. for our folks and stuff and the okay. like five people who don't know who you are. Why don't we That's do fine. a short Greg bio? Yeah. So I'm, my name is Greg. Um, I obviously do a co-host of the podcast with Michael and Rex and around. Um, I also do, I mean, we just say I'm a Twitch streamer. Cause it's like, yeah, it's I true. play video games and uh, there's a camera in front of me. So that's about it. Um, that's how I feel sometimes. Um, I do, well, I used to, I don't do so much anymore. Obviously pandemic kind of shut, shuttered those doors, but, uh, cosplay so i did cosplay as you can see the helmets behind me i used to wear the full body uh, clone trooper that's kind of where uh, me and michael connected and started our own podcast and we kind of took off from there um yeah i'm i'm old uh, i have a full-time job that i hate i'm a millennial <laughs> so it's like i feel like i'm checking all the boxes for my age um and yeah that i don't what else do people say what else do people say that's fantastic no i think okay, that was cool. perfect just wrap it up in a little bow. Perfect. Okay. Yes. The Dodge, why don't you tell us the story of the incredible feat that was getting Go Getter Greg on the Lady Lauren show? Because you put a lot of energy into this. Dodge was like talking about this for like three weeks. She was like, I'm having anxiety about going. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were talking for like literally months and we were, well, okay. Back when we first started and we gave Michael the Lady Lorian bracelet, and then you were like, Where's my bracelet? And I was like, Oh crap, we need to get a bracelet. Good. That was like, the, that was the purpose of that. Yeah. And then so ever since then, we've all been like, geez, we need to like get Greg on the podcast and stuff to recover from like our misdeeds and stuff. Oh, but, absolutely. Yeah. And then, but we wanted to make sure it was something that mm, was special it wasn't just like hey you want to come on the podcast and stuff like that a pity invite you didn't want to pity yeah invite. no i get yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. because we yeah, want because you're amazing and we want you on because we want you on and not just like oh we feel bad and stuff so we're like okay let's like we'll figure out a way to like inter like invite him in person but like we're a lot of us don't live in 
Southern California or at the time we didn't live in Southern Good. California. Don't so recommend like that. It. And so like I was wait, I was like, guys, I'm going back home for like two weeks. We have to figure this out and invite him. So I like messaged Michael and I was like, hey, um, can I like stop by? Cause I have something for Greg. And he was like, oh yeah, definitely stop by. I'll make sure it's while we're filming. So Greg's there. And I was like, okay. We're so obligated to be there. <laughs> yes. So you didn't really have a choice. So I apologize for that. No, no, it's fine. It was, it was fine. Yeah. But, but yeah. explain, explain what you well, did. The, the presentation, this is really important because I, I saw it myself. She like, she had a whole thing. She sent it to us. Like, you you need to go into more detail. Well, yeah. I so love then it became like two weeks of like letter prep and figuring out the right words to say. And then like a forging our signatures. Yeah. Yeah. Dodge did um forge our signatures on that letter. So <laughs> oh my gosh. Audio amigos it, and amigos. Yeah, it looks it looks all the same Crappy. letter circling. Well, yeah. well, 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 she had us, it's, she had us send, we, she had us send her pictures of our signatures and then she copied them. I traced them. So if you're listening and you don't have a visual right now, uh, Greg is holding a very formal letter, a typed letter, um, on beautiful scrapbook paper with Star Wars stickers. Mm -hmm. Um, Dodge typed out a formal invitation to Greg. That sounds like it's like from medieval times and invited him on the show and she's like we sent dodge all of our digital signatures and she traced them and put them on the letter and hand delivered it to greg along with his bracelet and it was like a whole induction ceremony i just remember when we sent michael the his letter and he opened it on the podcast and you just absolutely roasting us like the whole time yeah Yeah. i would never do that i was like we were like, we have your bracelet sitting at HQ, and you're like, what HQ? Disney headquarters? <laughs> <laughs> Disney's warehouse? The mouse? Yeah, I was like, Baby. oh my gosh, he's got us, he's got us, we gotta figure this out, guys. Yeah, not, I'm not sure I was wrong there, I don't think you I was know, wrong. I feel bad, because I'm pretty sure I'm the one who replied with, like, the link to the bracelet when all of that went down. <laughs> so, buy your own, scrub. <laughs> I feel like... Y'all, sorry about that. that. I have a funny bracelet story. So a couple weeks ago, I was at Disneyland and I was going to get another Lady Lorian's bracelet made. And um, like they had the leather bracelet there that like we got online from Shop Disney. So all of our Lady Lorian's bracelets are online from Shop Disney. But I was going to expose us. Now everyone's going to go get a Lady Lorian's bracelet. Yeah, stop no, exposing everyone. These are handmade. But anyway, but I, I went to um, a store in person at Disneyland and asked for our engraving on one of these bracelets. And they said that because of their um, quote unquote personalization standards, that they don't even know how we got ours made and that we were like a liability. <laughs> and, and we technically were not supposed to have bracelets that had anything other than our names or like mom or dad on them um so that was a little disappointing a liability so our no they didn't say that I, well, was, you, you have me on it so now you're a liability no, wait, yeah. you, listen and then ruthie ruthie said that to us and so then i went and bought the name lady Lorians and trademarked it oh my so gosh and take it it's our well you know course. it's good you did that because our dear friend has been threatening to buy our trademark for the last six months so yeah so it was also like we needed to do it. not that anyone wants it but it was kind of like I love, we own ourselves i love how cats uh like the camera frame cuts out so she was like way back here and all of a sudden she was like super zoomed in like someone's I'm trying to buy our name yeah will, will, will i will, will call out on the podcast will, will has been threatening to buy talk about, our talk about name. liabilities he wants to own us. Yeah, if you ever see us in the streets with our Lady Lorraine's bracelet, the throat. <laughs> we are breaking. We are breaking mouse law. So Ooh. the Lady yes. Lorraine's are going to go to Disney jail. I'm saying now I'm going to wear on purpose. <laughs> you heard it here first. We do not fit the personalization standards. So <laughs> we're built different. Oh my gosh! You guys are from canceled, canceled everywhere. From literally, legally canceled by everybody else. Hashtag Lady Lorraine's are over party. Haven't got us yet. It's fine. Got us. Yet. We're holding on. 
Okay, well, anyway, so that was how we invited Greg, obviously, and we, like, we know you through, well, you obviously stream on Twitch, and you are on the podcast, but I feel like we don't, like, know you, know you, if that makes sense. Like I feel like there's That's questions. Else that left. I, okay. I sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I like feel like I have so many questions about so many things that I don't know. So I okay. have. So I want to ask you questions. Okay. Y'all just like cool. let's get to know the real. Let's sorry, do I, I want to apologize. Gonna get deep, not gonna get deep. in advance because Dodge always comes the most prepared out of anybody. <laughs> so I got nothing. Are we surprised? <laughs> I'm no. by far least prepared. I haven't been on a yeah. podcast this entire summer because I've been traveling. Welcome to my life. How dare you? Literally. I'm the worst. Greg, you're so mysterious. It's impossible for us not to have like a plethora of questions to ask you. Yeah. I like it that way. I like being uh, unknown I know. and mysterious. I Routed it's, it's, in mystery. Yeah. It's, it's, it's my wife. My wife sits next to me and stares at me like, you're not that mysterious. Relax, kiddo. <laughs> Calm down. Literally, she's literally looking at me like, you're playing a way too cool right now. But you guys don't know that. So it's cool. Well, literally, literally we're convinced it's working. Yeah, that's all yeah. that matters. But now you're forced <laughs> to be here. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, they're not like big questions, but like, okay, this is one that I'm kind of upset that I don't know. But what is your favorite Star Wars character? Uh, Darth Maul. Like- really? Yep. Why did I not know that? Okay. I've said it before. I'm so disappointed that Izzy's here missing this or not oh. Izzy's missing this because that's her fave too. Because of your hat, the hot dog. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. We all know. Yep. yep. Hold on. Darth yes. hot dog. Have you, you heard about Darth hot, dog? Darth hot dog? No, Darth hot dog. No, no. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh! Just... The picture. Who's gonna screen share? We don't. No, I don't. I have, I have it somewhere. It on. Hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, so it. basically, from the last time we had this conversation yeah, about Darth Maul, basically, honestly, you you could put a photo and share and sell this glizzy on your Twitch. Um, oh my god! But, <laughs> that's that's what they're called. Yeah. Relax, Ruthie. I know. It's, they're <laughs> called glizzies. Yes. So basically, Kath like photoshopped, or she looked at a hot dog and was like, mm, "It kind of looks like Darth Maul." Um, I she can screen share. I can screen Maul. share if you would let oh, me. Please. So we kind of have to show you photo. Okay. So you would like know what because we're talking. Now about. we can't. Like, we have not. we have showed this on the podcast before. Yes. So right. our our listeners should know, but just oh. so you you know. <laughs> Why? Thoughts? Uh, not many. <laughs> not many. Why is it so red? Because Kath hey. is the mastermind behind. <laughs> I in so fact a, did put a hot time dog that his shoes are buns. <laughs> They're loafs. They're also hot dog legs. Exactly. The attention to detail is impeccable. Like Kath's artistry is unmatched. So, this is a good time to men- mention that mental health is a good thing to address. I don't know if we were, we were not well when this was made. Like, this was like we deep so in quarantine. Oh, gosh. pandemic right now. Listen, I you just, know, like, that was like created when we were staying up till 5 a.m. on Zoom every night. We didn't have a life because everyone was locked down. I just so. compress the feelings, and you made that. <laughs> so. that's your favorite I, character. I let my mental <laughs> illnesses come out through creativity. That's probably you know that's very good. I have not learned how to do that yet. So, um, but if it ever comes out in the way of of hot dog Darth Maul or Darth Hot Dog, um, I made another one of him crying. I'm literally crying. <laughs> I mean, like. Greg, I was so thrilled. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. She said she made another one of him crying? No, I said, I'm crying right now. No, no, no. Oh. I did make another oh, dark yeah, you dog did. Photoshop with him crying. She, okay, so basically it blew up on Twitter. And so she made a Twitter Dark account, hot dog account for Darth Hot Dog. And people were roasting him. I don't even know. Is it so People were roasting him because he's people a hot dog. People were roasting roast him. him. And so Kath photoshopped tears 
in his eyes because people were making fun of him. I don't know if it's still up. I I'm gonna he's... look. I'm not. Sure. Sure. But like, oh, this God. is like, this is also a reason why we were like, we should probably not have Greg meet us just yet because we are insane. So we'll chill out. The a mental bit. illness was really showing. <laughs> I really wish, Greg, I wish you would have lied and just said that the hot dog hat was on purpose. <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I here we no go. Idea. You would have been so complimented. Oh, beautiful cop. Beautiful. The, the creativity there. I mean, when you unmatched. see a red beef hot dog, like with grill marks on it, you know, like the black line, that's Darth Maul. Like, who would not make that connection, honestly? <laughs> Apparently, Greg. <laughs> I think a lot of people in case you haven't caught on lady Lorians have two skills podcasting and photoshopping (laughs) i'm not sure if i would call that a skill uh the photoshopping (laughs) is 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 good graphic design is our passion yeah i hand you set up for (laughs) i'm so sorry you hand i got dodges like i'm not affiliated with this uh, our thoughts are our own and not affiliated with dark the dark moments, Greg. <laughs> See, this is why. Well, now we know Darth Maul. Anyways, Darth Maul, Darth Maul. yeah, the original Darth. Maul. Was there like a real question that was going to be asked? <laughs> well, it was Darth Maul. Uh, really, one question made me have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We intended it. I'm so sorry. Oh man. But this all stemmed uh, from us asking Greg's favorite Star Wars character. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. No, this was this was relevant. This was a that relevant was a, a journey. Yeah. Who was your least favorite Star Wars character? <gasps> least favorite? Yeah. Ooh, good question. Um, you know, Bo- I would still say Boba Fett. Really? Yeah. Care to explain? Uh, or- original trilogy Boba Fett. Okay. Overrated. Uh, he did nothing. And- but he's cool, Greg. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, he has a jet pack. See, That's like I agree. I honestly agree because I was, cool? I was like never. I didn't care about him before. Like I never like watched the movies and was like ah him. Oh hell yeah, it's Boba Fett. Yeah, and it's just like mm, no, nothing there. He heard what cool. you said. Literally, literally, that's what he did for three movies and like <laughs> two decades. He can hear you. Good. I love him. Good. You're not gonna get Good. invited to the book of Boba Fett. I mean, I like that's him. Fine. That's I fine. like him now that yeah I like there. I like the modern I like the modern Christine's trying to show me her Boba Fett stuff and she knows I don't like him <laughs> this is you not me um I, another one I will say and this is very controversial uh Darth Vader uh original trilogy Darth Vader I thought was just as overrated as Boba Fett was the, interesting he was supposed to be this menacing figure and all he did was he was a puppet yeah, he was exactly. A it wasn't. It, yeah, it wasn't, and that's why I never really cared about the original trilogy because it's like, yeah, it set the groundwork for everything that we love now and that we can appreciate. But it's just like it wasn't exciting. It was. I mean, mm-hmm. not that it all has to be exciting. It's just I thought, in my opinion, Darth Vader was like so just one dimensional. Well, as well, we've got a prequels because it gives him more. Dimension, which is like, <laughs> the late Elorians. We turn British sometimes. <laughs> the uh, came out of nowhere. The is down- is this Downton Abbey now, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Are you excited for this? Is just this episode is just like one big plug for like yeah. go to therapy. <laughs> yeah. Well, need to call mine. Drink water. Go to therapy. Yeah. But are you excited to see Darth Vader in? Like the in Obi Wan Kenobi, depends what they do with them. Which I will say yes because I know they're not going to do an original trilogy Darth Vader. They're mm-hmm. going to give us. They're definitely going to give us. Um, well, I think Anakin. I think absolutely Anakin. I think that's relevant to that timeline with Kenobi. I'm hoping. Um, even if it is, I feel like they're going to give us Rogue One Vader. Mm-hmm. Rogue One Vader was amazing. Yeah, I uh, will see more of that. Interesting. I'm surprised take, you like Rogue anything. One Vader if he was just like slicing people around. Yeah, uh, that's well, the point. That's the thing. He was the menacing figure that they tried to convince us he always was, oh, which he I never see. was until that scene. Um, and then they kept yeah. doing it with obviously in, in Rebels and, and mm-hmm. uh, Jedi Fallen Order, wow. and you saw 
you didn't see a glimpse of it in in Clone Wars season seven, but you saw obviously Vader with the emotion and the eyes and everything is you know when he picked mm-hmm. up uh, Soka's sabers. So you're like you yeah I want more of that. I don't want like you said puppet Vader, which was just mm-hmm. super annoying. I was like this guy isn't isn't scary. Yeah, the Inquisitors were always way cooler than Vader. Uh, until they used their lightsabers as helicopters. That was I'm talking really weird. like Jedi Fallen Order, like. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I'll agree, but yeah, then they lost me at a uh, helicopter lightsabers. I didn't which... watch all didn't of like uh, Rebels. Uh, I thought they were cool. They just they came out of nowhere. They came <laughs> out of nowhere. They were just like, yeah, it spins, it spins, and all of a sudden they're like, like, like uh, Mary Poppins. I'm just like, <laughs> no. Sometimes from? I feel like the writers of Star Wars media have like a bring your kid to work day, and they'll yeah, bring was... four or five year old like little boy or boy or girl into the boardroom. And they're like, give us an idea. And, and they're spinning um, a yeah. helicopter like <laughs> They're like, <laughs> okay, cool. we have this really cool scene. <laughs> Vader versus Vader versus Ahsoka. And she connects him with, uh, spoilers, by the way, connects him with his Anakin and, and, and Ahsoka and, and all this stuff. And then they're like, all right, but it's a kid's show. So we got to uh, ask, ask, ask freaking Tommy over there. And like, helicopters and it's just like <laughs> all right here we go yeah and that's that's it yeah. like you know the haribo gummy bear commercials where like all the adults have like the child voices yes yes that was in it. a meeting room like that's yep. star wars that's how star wars gets written yep. you know? that's the animation studio you have, right to have, you have to have the imagination of a child i mean you it's know? like it's just like bad batch and like oh cool record this big brute this family yeah. and cool shadow and they're like here's clink <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I love playing Justice. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But it's just like, you know, there's always just that one thing. Definitely. Yep. So for Halloween, I'm going to go go as Clink. You know, all my roommates size maybe they can be like as you should. Girls, and I'll be Clink. I should oh, just be cool. the war criminal chopper. So <laughs> yes. on that note, you mentioned <laughs> Fall in Order. Um, obviously, you're really into gaming now. And we'll talk about Twitch in just a little bit. But what's your favorite Star Wars game? Or do you think Star Wars games are worth playing? Um, uh, I personally say no. Um, mm. And I know I'm very alone in this. Uh, Star Wars video games are very repetitive, very predictable, um, very boring after a week or two. Mm. Um, I feel like there could be more depth. I feel like it's just the studio's that do Star Wars games keep doing the same thing over and over again. And while you do have the group that loves that, that core group is not going to continue giving you money. You want something that's more uh, matches like a broader variety of people. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the Star Wars, what they need to do is something like an MMO, uh, which is like World of Warcraft. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic, but modern. Star Wars The Old Republic is a great idea, great cinematography. You know, you look at those trailers for Star Wars The Old Republic, and it's like, this could be could be and needs to be a movie. And then you play the game, and you feel like you're playing Star Wars Pong. Um, it's it's not great. Yeah, I've had I've had the graphics. I play that game graphics on, like, ultra high with a high-end PC, and it's just, it's just there's nothing that can be done to make it look better. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like Jedi Fallen Order, great game. A lot of people love it. I actually can honestly say I never played it. Um, I watched the cinemas, obviously the, all the, yeah, I've watched people play it. I've watched the trailers and such. Great game. I have nothing against it, but it's just, it's predictable. Um, I feel like the, the single path, like, okay, go down this way and fight this boss and do this little quest. And oh, it was creative. And you see my cat trying to get out the window behind me. Um, <laughs> cameos all the down, time. down there. <laughs> my cat always yeah. makes cameos. So. Yeah. We love and, cats. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Star Wars gets tough because like Battlefronts, Great games, great idea, massive maps, having fun. Uh, but then you have obviously the issue of who the developer is. Uh, EA really messed, dropped the ball in that game with the uh, microtransactions and you know basically being pay to win. Like, oh, cool, we're gonna advertise Darth Vader for this entire game, but you have to pay twenty dollars to, to yeah. play him mm-hmm. on top of what you already paid for. It's it's the fact that you play him in the tutorial and stuff too. So like you get the taste of it, and you're like, oh, this is awesome. And then you like. Yeah. Sp- actual game and it's like wait what game is this uh battlefront 2 well they changed it now when it when battlefront 2 first launched uh they advertised obviously darth vader you can play as darth vader you can fight other players as darth vader blah blah blah. multitude of of characters you could fight against or fight as um when they released it 
it came out that you came out that you have to actually pay extra for those characters um, yeah. on top of the base game of $60. So that game kind of dropped and tanked as it went. Obviously, over time, it became better, but it was just one of those things that was too late. And it was also repetitive. It that didn't really change much after the amount of time it was out. Can you guys hear my cat? She's so freaking mean. Oh Not my that, gosh. No, no your good, mic honestly. isn't picking it up. Good. That's it's a four hundred dollar microphone, so I'd hope it'd pick, not pick up the <laughs> extra sound. Our thirty dollar <laughs> Amazon <laughs> mic. <laughs> Our toners. There you okay. go. I have a quick question. So uh I realize that there's a new Star Wars game coming out, like for Nintendo Switch and consoles like that, that's like a battle royale style, like kind of game. And this is something really new for like Star Wars, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, do you, what's your opinion on that concept? Do you think like, it'll be more fun and worth playing? Like, do you have any initial thoughts or predictions for that? The problem with Star Wars games right now is they're copying every other style of game, just slapping Star Wars on it. Just like Fortnite? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, like Fortnite, Fortnite. If, yes, essentially, um, which is weird because Fortnite already did it. You already, you know, they already gave the yeah. license to Fortnite to add Star Wars characters to it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's weird. It's what's tough right now is like Star Wars and their video games is all they're doing is taking things that other people have already done and putting characters into it, you know, replacing whatever that character is with Star Wars. Mm -hmm. um and that's why like i'm like i see all these star wars games come out i'm just like i have zero interest because it's just i've played this game already it just was a different story that's all it was mm -hmm. um i feel like they just need and it's just it's they keep handing it to the, the wrong developers and that's usually what the issue is um probably the lowest bidder i guess you could probably say i'm not really sure how that works but yeah we need something fresh we need something new mm -hmm. um doesn't need to be like obviously industry defining video game but yeah, something yeah. interesting that can has long-term star wars squadron said so much hope yeah but i think where i lost hope was the price tag that it was it was 40 dollars and cheaper which told me oh this game is not going to be much longer than a two-week mm -hmm. that's exactly what it was yeah because I, I remember when it came out like you guys like were excited for it and then yeah. it just like died really fast so fast uh we played it like the night of could barely connect couldn't really party up and then uh michael sucked at it so michael <laughs> will never michael will never play a game he can't win um so he played <laughs> I, a, I a week that. or two yeah he played a week or two and then stopped playing it um but yeah that was it was a huge sign when that game released and it was 40 dollars against the industry average of six dollars for a new game mm -hmm. it told you kind of a lot of what they expected to get out of the game mm -hmm. wasn't much yeah but, i remember when battlefront came out like it was around, I was, I was, I was taking a business class and we literally had a, a lecture about it because we were talking about like how awful it is that they're like using just like, like Lucasfilm to like make these crappy like games that people don't yeah. enjoy and stuff. And I was like, dang, like that's, that sucks. But it's also, here's also a thing because not a lot of people play the games, obviously, but everyone wants to see Cal Kestis in like live action. So yeah. if you saw him in live action, would you like it? Or do you think you would be like, they're just recovering from a crappy game, basically? Uh, I think, I personally think that they should bring these uh, characters in, in video games to, I think they should connect all the all the media sources together. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know much about Cal Kestis, So if I saw Cal Kestis, you know, and got his story or even additional story to, you know, uh, either animated or you know, the movies or television show that'd be great because then mm -hmm. it would for a lot of people that may have not been interested in the video game now have an, a reason to go discover what more in depth about his character because right now i have no reason to and and no real obligation to learn about cal mm -hmm. um and that's the you know, same thing with goes i would say it goes with all the characters in that video game is, is i have no reason to really care about them um it's not that i just like oh they're stupid and they're, they're not it's not a movie or a television show so it doesn't matter but it's just like for me right now it's just like i don't really want to play the game it's not my style of video game i would play so it's like these stories that they're telling are and the fact that they're not in the you know the i guess larger um larger media mainstream media content there's i have zero obligation to, to learn about them mm -hmm. so yeah i would love to see all those characters in some one way or another be referenced as disney has been doing with connecting the dots um it'd be great to see that so I saw something on Twitter today that was talking about doing a TV show or a movie with 
uh, Star Killer, which based off of the video game. Who'd you see it from? <laughs> so I forgot who tweeted it, but I know that Michael responded to it. Oh, okay. So it was somebody else. Okay. And um, I saw a tweet too. I but... think Hunter, Hunter was the one that quote retweeted it. Of course. Of course. But, uh, I don't, I don't know. I just want to, I mean, did you watch any of those games? Uh, I played, I played, yeah, I played those. Uh, what were they called now that I, on the spot lost what they're called? Um, Force Unleashed. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Those were cool games. I mean, the issue with those kind of games is that, again, it's all Jedi. It's all predictable. It's all the same stuff. And that's why I'm loving the new, the new generation of Star Wars where it's like uh, Jedi are just like mythical creatures, basically. That's, I mm-hmm. love it. Um, Space Wizards, as they said, the Mandalorian is just like, whatever like they're not really anything known um when it comes to star killer it'd be tough because i feel like they would have to make star killer canon in some way uh before a video game because he was pretty powerful and it's weird i don't know where they would fit him into the canon and it's like this dude single-handedly bringing down an entire star destroyer yeah. by himself with just using the forest like, that's a that's a pretty big powerful creature to you know creature uh, Jedi or Force user to have in the universe that currently would you know would, as far as we know would not be known to any other of the you know the Force users around. So it's like, yeah, you can have one toxic Star Wars YouTuber comment on it, but it doesn't mean it makes sense. Yeah. Um, while I would love to see that, it's just yeah, it's just it's the legends. The legends fanboys want all of their characters made without really mm-hmm. thinking of what he would yeah. do to the universe and when something is added to the universe that makes sense they complain about it and and this is yeah they would get this and it would it would it would mess up all current canon and they'd just be happy because they got the little boy toy in the show uh yeah. would i mind seeing uh what's his name christine what's his name Sam, Sam she, couldn't, she couldn't wait to say his name <laughs> Sam Witwer, if I yeah, would I love seeing Sam Witwer uh, acting out as as Star Killer? Absolutely, dude's a stud and he knows what he's doing. Uh, the problem is relax, relax. Uh, the the problem is also there is that Sam Witwer voices Darth Maul. Yeah. So you have a little mm-hmm. bit conflict of interest in that regard. In you have his voice, sure he can change his voice. He's obviously a professional. He's what he's doing. Um, but what if they want to bring Darth Maul to live action? You know what I mean, now you have Sam Witwer's face. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, they used Ray Park already in that hologram. I doubt that they're going to rehire Ray they Park. They will not bring Ray after Park what back happened. after what happened. Uh, I wasn't going to go there, but yeah, I'm not wrong. <laughs> We're um, honest here. <laughs> the thing is also is Ray Park's getting older and it shows you can, and he's amazing at what he does. Uh, he's very skilled at his, you know, uh, again, what he does. I don't know what he does. That is actions, um, his G.I. Joe stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's just at the same time, it's he's getting older and it shows. So it's like you want somebody long term that can fit the role of Darth Maul, which is we've gotten a hint of Darth Maul coming back. Um, I'm not in at least in in solo. So it's like mm-hmm. they can do something with him live action. Uh, and you have Sam over there just chilling with the perfect voice to do so. Mm-hmm. So it's more of a yeah, it's more of a matter of what they do and how it fits. It, it's again, yeah, if I want to see these characters in in mainstream media it just has to make sense so star killer now kath is disconnected so she can't hear the answer yeah i would She's love to listening. see him She's oh, okay like getting up or just... I'm, oh, okay. I'm right here my roommate just delivered something to me oh sorry i thought you like disconnected <laughs> <laughs> she left um i i wouldn't who's that <gasps> yay, <Aaron Condren>. yay! <laughs> oh, oh look it is Kath's Aaron Condren star wars oh, collection God. planner there we go it is <laughs> indeed <laughs> Lady Lorian's 10 on oh Aaron for ten dollars off your first purchase of forty dollars or more. I've done it and it's great stuff and it's so worth it. Our code is still able to be used, still valid. Plug anyways, it. it's great. That Love it. Perfect Aaron. segue. I like how Dodge is like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> you see me like being like, yeah, Darth Maul. It's yeah. a great discount. I no, can't 40% is actually a really good discount. I don't know. Forty percent since uh ten percent ten dollars off. Oh. Oh, ten. I was like, girl, um, I wish, um, but 
I have a question about Darth Maul though, because some people, when they have a favorite character, they don't like overseeing the character. So we've already seen like Darth Maul literally everywhere in Star Wars. So do you want to see him in live action again? Or as long you, like... as it makes sense, absolutely. Okay. As people are like, I want more of this character. It's like, doesn't make sense. Shut up and just okay. understand that. Well, we, saw, make sense. we saw in Solo, right? Mm -hmm. How he played a part in Solo. Mm -hmm. I want to see more of that so yeah. bad. And that's mm -hmm. what, again, is if it makes sense. I don't want to see Darth Maul just to see Darth Maul. I want to see Darth Maul if it makes sense. Right now, there's nowhere he can fit in other than the Solo and Kira storyline. It yeah. would be fun um, otherwise. What's that? I said it would be fan service otherwise. Yeah, and and I'm not a huge fan of fan service, as weird as it is. I it, I like fan service. I hate I hate in your face fan service. Well, um, I'm thinking like so in the Kenobi show, Maul is still going to be around. Do you think that they're going to like throw him in there somewhere? I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. And then there's there's one thing. It's um, I would say also no because it, it kind of makes Rebels really weird because if he's searching for for Kenobi all this time, but he's already encountered him, you know, like a ton of times. It just it's just weird to me. I've already um, talked about this on like multiple episodes, but uh, since we're on the topic again, I am so disappointed in the Rebels ending with Darth Maul, like. You know, they just like yeah. built it up for so long yeah. and you like think that it's going to like be this big thing and then it just Yeah, it was, it was disappointing. I think there is more of the, and it's weird because this was a terrible, that was a terrible, I guess, representation of fan service. Mm -hmm. That was the worst fan service. Because if you, you have to like look at the metaphors behind it all to really understand the importance of that little, you know, so I wouldn't say it's a battle, it's a scuffle. Um, like the way he struck him down and all this, and the, the words exchanged. It's like there's, it's all deep lore kind of stuff or just you get to be aware. That was fan service where I'm just like, guys, just give us the lightsaber battle. Like, mm -hmm. just give us the big battle. You know, let these old dudes hash it out. Um, yeah, it was, I would agree. I was extremely disappointed. Um, I also don't know what, I wanted because it was a really weird arc to follow the entire yeah. Rebels. Because nothing like really led to him, nothing, nothing hints at Kenobi until like that arc. It was, yeah. Like, oh, hey, Kenobi, what's up, man? <laughs> Let's fight. And she's like, oh, how did you get here, dude? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was in Rebels. I don't know if anybody knows my opinion on Rebels, but okay. a lot of fan service in Rebels. Uh, yeah. I was not a fan of Rebels. Mm -hmm. Loved the season finales of Rebels. Everything in between, I, I don't care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was just weird. There's a lot I didn't care about Rebels. There's zero character development for a lot of the characters, and I feel like Darth Maul, with as much the potential as they have with Darth Maul, just kind of a clean slate where he could just like they brought him back. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, they had him and obviously brought him back in Clone Wars, and they kind of he kind of died out, and then they had they brought him into rebels like they could have done so much with them and yeah. they did a little bit but it was just weird it was just weird mm -hmm. it was cool seeing him but again if i didn't see him there because it didn't it, it worked it made sense but nothing really came of it yeah i feel like that it, that makes me scared though because people think because it was so anticlimactic that it's he's gonna be in kenobi to have them try to like recover what that was those people need to sh just Shut this. up. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. Go somewhere else. Go write some fan fiction. When is Kenobi supposed to drop? <laughs> Next year? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. May this 4th. year? I don't know. I... Probably yeah. May 4th. There's no way they're not going to drop Kenobi on May 4th. I think it's it's next year that it's coming out, but I don't yeah. remember what season. Um, I don't know. Timelines are all weird now. Yeah. Because and of... it'll get delayed six months after it's supposed to be. Exactly. Delayed. That's also true. Absolutely. Okay, Greg, apart from Star Wars, you do a lot of other gaming that is arguably <laughs> a lot more fun and interesting. Actually, I do, I do zero Star Wars gaming, actually. <laughs> I know. I'm like, so how's Chad doing? <laughs> Chad is doing wonderful. Yeah, yeah jump right think... to it. Uh... <laughs> well, can you, can you explain to our viewers, our parents? 
don't know who that is because I try to give like a weekly update to the Lady Lorians if they miss a stream. Yeah, and I'm I like, feel I, bad. I watch every single stream and I'm like, I don't even know what's going on at this point. So. I feel bad. I like enjoy watching your streams. However, I am a slave to a theme park, so I'm usually working while yeah, you're streaming. I, mean, I don't, I don't watch, watch streamers, streamers okay. at all. Yeah, it's okay. I don't yeah. listen. People don't, don't apologize. I don't listen to other podcasts and it's not even like you, I just, it's just, there's content that is for everybody and content that yeah. is for nobody and podcasts aren't for me. I'm on a podcast. Michael's like, Oh yeah, just, I listen to this one. I'm like, cool. I will never listen to our own podcast. <laughs> um, I try, like I try to get in the podcast. It's just like, yeah, I don't, I, yeah. I watch other streamers like, but like, it's very select few. It's usually mm-hmm. just cause I like the game and I'm not able to play at the moment. Sure. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, same thing with YouTube. Like people watch YouTube, and there's others like me. I don't watch YouTube. I watch YouTube for like guides, like yeah. old, you yeah. know, old person. Like, how do I change my tire? Like, yep. That's what I'm watching yep. YouTube for. Uh, but like, there's, there's people like you know where like you have like Garrett Watts, who you know like I'm familiar with, and I can tell you, I've never seen anything he's done. I've never seen really? anything he's done. And I'm over here moderating his like twenty thousand member. <laughs> oh yeah. Guy. I I have no idea what he does. I don't get his stardom, but I'm like, so whatever, funny. dude. You know, do you? You making money? I, uh, go for it. Whatever he's doing is working. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who might have questioned it? Props um, to him. I literally so, found out that you were moderate mon- moderating. Is that moderating? Moderating. Not, not moderating. From Afton. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, I I found that out after I watched his video. And then I, I was texting Aston and she was like, yeah, Greg's like in charge of it. And I was like, what? It was like yeah, worlds colliding. Yeah. I was like, that's pretty I, cool. Uh, yeah, that's I hectic. created his entire Discord and moderated it. And then 30,000 people joined in the first like 48 hours. Um, and I decided I had to sleep. So I had to bring in some extra help with in, in, in Afton. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Never sleeps. Doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good because she like works late nights, mm-hmm. I guess, like overnights. And I, I'm on Discord all day. Well, I'm not on it, but I'm like, I'm available for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was like, yeah, I was like, okay, cool. I'm best in that. After your turn, it's your turn to check in. And then Kablammy, who's our other great moderator, mm-hmm. who's moderated my Discord as well. Um, yeah, that was a. That yeah, was the, a- the, the Lady Lorians are still kind of figuring out how Discord works. It's been like a year long journey. We're still not there. Oh uh, uh, yeah, let me let me even know if you have questions. Obviously, I have my own partner. Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes we oh, we no, check no. in in yeah. the Discord. <laughs> you check in. You take over. I mean, I don't think the last time you checked in was last time you checked in was like last year. Um, yeah, because we yeah, don't know how Discord like works. Like around Michael's <laughs> birthday, because you guys were all together. Yeah, we were all together. Yeah, and yeah, that was rough. It's it's a little slower now. It's funny because like I've noticed just a shift, and it's because people are you know a lot of people and. The U.S. Lives again. going back out, yeah, it's mm-hmm. like it's crazy how to see the the shift that I've seen. It's like people are, yeah, doing stuff and mm-hmm. they're checking like, oh, hey, I went here. I'm like, you went outside. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? Literally, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. so you're talking about sorry, Twitch streaming. I uh, I do, yeah, I know everything. I'll get back to you. <laughs> get back to the uh, topic as mentioned. Yeah. Uh, Twitch streaming. Yeah. I do do Twitch streaming for the parents in here. I play video games on camera and people watch and play these video games and they talk with me. Um, it's basically like, like playing video games um, with, it's as if Dodge was playing a video game with, with Ruthie and they were just chatting. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. It's just, I have a nicer background. <laughs> and you're so good at it. Like you're okay. so good at it. It takes a lot. It, it's it's exhausting. When I first started streaming, uh, I don't think people realize the amount of energy that goes into it. Yeah. Um, I've had Michael on sitting here and like streaming with me, and he's like an hour in. He's like, "Okay, are we done?" I'm like, <laughs> "You're like, I, I do know. this for three hours. Three days I do week, it like... three hours minimum. Yeah, I do usually four four hours if I don't work. It's like wow. four to six hours. Um, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of energy. Um, uh, but I mean, it's what I do. It's what I I mm-hmm. enjoy thoroughly enjoy it and it's where I get most of my social interaction which is over the pandemic was a necessary yeah. thing um oh, it's but perfect. it is and, yeah. yeah it's, it's like weird a now having people try to like, get me to go outside I'm like no 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 no, no. I'm good where I'm at <laughs> I got a job yeah. interview on um GTA to go to so yeah, <laughs> I, uh, so yeah I do I do Grand Theft Auto role play so as we all know Grand Theft Auto is the controversial game where you can Run people over, shoot people up, and my favorite other, part of the game. Other <laughs> activities. Okay, not a spoiler. Um, free guy 
changed my perspective okay. on Grand Theft Auto. Okay. Okay. It I've heard a lot of that. I've heard that a lot. Um, so I played Grand Theft Auto where you, yeah, it's the, it's the controversial rated M video game where you shoot people, do drugs, pick up um, uh, lovely Ladies. women on the streets. <laughs> Ladies. Um, <laughs> women uh, of the night. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wasn't sure what terms were allowed here. So I just played that one a little safe. Um, and so I, I play on a server, like it's a server. Somebody owns and pays for this server and, and moderate and has modified it to where you can live an actual life. So think of like the Sims where you're like, you create a life oh. for your character and do all this. Yeah. And it's, yeah. So I play a character called Chad Spooner. I named him. I have a whole backstory for him. Um, it, it's, it's cool because like I can do whatever I want to do. Well, not whatever I want to do, but like you have to follow the rules. Like you, there's rules set in place. There's, you can't just go around mm-hmm. shooting people. Uh, you can't go around running people over. You have to like live your life as if you were literally living your life. Um, so if somebody comes up and like robs you, and like you have to like value your life. Like they're like, you can't just turn around and punch them. Like, no, you gotta like, which would, what you would do in most games. You're like, oh, screw you, man. And just like, I try to run and you die. And like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> which you know still happens but it's 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 extremely nerdy and extremely uh hard like concept to grasp but once you kind of get into it it's kind of fun yeah. um so yeah so chad has like run i started a business as chad in the game in the city that we you know that we do i literally own a food truck and i i go out and do food truck things I, yeah like christine says hi um <laughs> i do yeah like chad owns a food truck why hence the hat chad Chad's daily outfit has is a pink is a pink hat with glizzies on them. Uh, for the older people in the room, that is hot dogs. There's a nickname <laughs> for hot dogs. As in dark. Um, no, that's a different thing entirely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so and then somebody actually sent me, like one of the viewers actually sent me uh, mm-hmm. a pink hat with a hot dog on. Uh, to wear on has stream. been a theme in this podcast. I did not know that, but I'm glad I wore it on purpose. Yeah. I definitely wore it on purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just for Darth Hot Dogs. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I play all different kinds of games. I play, you know, Sea of Thieves, which is a pirate sailing game. Um, My brother plays that. I played the that tutorial. Game. It was really fun. It's I a lot of fun. More. Ruthie loves pirates, in case you guys didn't of- know. This is a like the latest obsession, is that Ruthie loves pirates. Sea of Thieves is a Perfect game for you then. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> and uh, they yes, have I a Pirates of the Caribbean package. They do. Now. They just they just like you it. can like dress as you. Yep. So, we gotta pay for that, but yeah. For me. But it's it was so funny because like I didn't really watch your streams too often for I like know. I know. <laughs> listen, let me oh. elaborate. Okay. Um I didn't watch, well, I would come in every once in a while. And of course, whenever I would come in, you would be like playing marbles and I would win and you'd be like, get out of here. And then I'd be like, okay. And then I wouldn't come back for another like yeah. two minutes. And I then, was joking, by the way. I yeah, know. I was joking. Yeah, yeah. I was joking. And then you started playing GTA and it was funny watching you at the very beginning because you were like stopping at every stop sign and you're like, guys, no there's actual doing. cops here. Like there I are. can't. And everyone's in the in the chat going like, run that person over. And you're like, guys, I can get in trouble. And then now <laughs> you're just like, okay, yeah. no cops around. All right, I can do whatever yeah. I want. <laughs> I was I was scared to get in trouble uh, because in the game where if you played like grand, regular Grand Theft Auto, it's just like, it's robots playing cops. And it's like, yeah. oh, you shot somebody, we'll come chase you. Uh, in this, in the server that I play on, it's to the point where all the cops are actual players. So like, it's like if you guys were the cops mm-hmm. and they actually enforce like laws and, and traffic laws are one of them. So if you wow. run a red light, they can pull you over and give you a ticket. Holy um, God. This is like yeah. A- yeah, it's, it's really, it makes for really good, obviously really good content and just a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, you're role playing. I mean, it's role playing. It's, it's exactly what it is. you get speeding tickets? You can, you can get speeding tickets. And it's like if it's legit. Yeah, they have wow. laws. They, if it's over 30 miles an hour, it's, it's a felony. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Go I got pulled over in real life recently, and the cop kindly reminded me that if I had been going three miles faster, I would have been a felon. So yeah. I've done the same thing. Don't worry. <laughs> I was going three miles over that. And uh, yeah, thankfully, I had my military ID on me at the time. And then the, he uh, was like, all right, just slow down. I'm like, oh, thank God. Just cry. <laughs> so... Yeah. That was yeah, I don't. It doesn't work as well for me. 
unfortunately. <laughs> well, it's just like, it's so cool seeing, like, it's like, so like you had to get like a business license to yep. open. Oh my gosh. Like I had to apply. See, for I haven't license. watched in a while. Like I last time I watched, it was like, like a month ago, maybe. Oh, so I'm not, I'm not up to date. Listen, I have a, I have, I have a lot going on. I don't okay. sleep anymore. So we, we well, also I don't either. Work, like, I- we work night shifts. Often. I'm a, I work oh. full time. Oh, I'm a so you are. Student. It's going to be really bright. Cause I'm going to show you, I want to show you guys how in depth that this is. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just like very life entertaining. Practice. The ones how I have I, watched very entertaining and I share my screen. I, oh, it's got so many privileges just now. So, <laughs> so, so a lot of power. So, <laughs> Unlimited oh, power. This is oh, it's so bright that I just want you guys to know that. Uh, no, I don't want to leave meeting. Uh, share screen. Um, you leave meeting, you'll be kicked out permanently. So just, <laughs> don't do that. okay, can you see this? Yes. It's so bright. Oh my gosh, it's so big bright. homies. It's big homies bar and grill, everybody. <laughs> big homies bar and grill. Um, oh, wow, it is so bright on this on the on the camera. This. This Zoom call is terrible quality. Uh, so look, oh, look I have a, I have a, I have a table of contents. I have everything. This is legit. I have this for employees. Code of conduct on how to conduct yourselves. Right. Uh, compensation policy and payroll <laughs> options. Um, at will employment. Let them know I can fire them if they say dumb stuff. Uh, if they it travel, just keeps going. Oh, Do you so actively good. employ people in this game? Yes. 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 Uh, do they definitely. have to do job interviews? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have oh. to, but I definitely do just because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a travel policy. Basically, worst. if somebody is, is like oh. going on vacation or not, doesn't plan to play for a week or so, be like, hey, let me know you're traveling because everything gets to, you get to remain the in character. You cannot. Yeah, I know. It's funny. Um, everything gets to be in character. So like if you're not going to log in, even though you're not going to log in, you can't say I'm not going to log in. You can laugh on camera, Ruthie. It's fine. It's I know how. <laughs> I, oh, you're drinking. Never mind. Just kidding. I was getting my coke. We I'm can't sorry. see. See, I so we can't eat or drink on camera anymore because we, Stacy uh, came for because us. Because Hunter's mom. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking. Okay. okay. She doesn't. Okay. She doesn't like that I eat on camera. She thinks it's offensive. So it's gross. I need to no, it's gross. I don't need it. <laughs> if I eat something, if I eat on stream, I turn my camera off. I think it's disgusting. Um, <laughs> so look at absent performance reviews. There's a dress code. Dress code is AKA. I'm gonna get custom like big homies bar and grill shirts made in game. That's mainly what it is. It's not like okay. you can't wear this. No, whatever, whatever the hell you want. Disciplinary, we got harassment policies and then it obviously acknowledge them. That's not it though. Hold on, let me stop sharing this. That's, you think I'm, you think I'm, you think I'm done? You think I, you this think I spent is, all I literally, time? It's, I'm like obsessed with this. If it's I the had dedication it, to the, you're like world like, building. Like yeah. it's literally a different world, and then you you guys are you have like code names and stuff like that. Oh, like, oh, I slept walked when you yeah. like wake up somewhere where you didn't like go to bed or whatever. It's, it was just like- it's it's very hard to learn because me, I'm just like, oh, I couldn't spawn here, and they're like, spawn. What does that mean? <laughs> and you're like, oh. so you're like it's- pretending that you're not in a game at all. Yes, yes, that's okay. That's the, that is the rules, and if you don't yeah. do that, you can get in trouble. Okay, but um, I feel like okay. In all seriousness, though. Like what a cool exercise in imagination though. Like uh, what a cool way to like keep exercising your like creativity and stuff. It's to the point where like, I find it hard not to, which is yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> no, uh, I okay. think it's like a really cool way to just like, you know, have a creative outlet. Like that's it's awesome. A, it's, it's all I do in my free time. This is another fun. I love one. it. This, I want you guys to see this. I put a, this is, I put cool. a lot of work into this one. Okay. Oh so this is God. our, hmm this is our business info and, and financial financial ledger, the Excel spreadsheet. Dodge, you weren't here when I got to show this off. I know. On the, wait, wait, this so what's on the menu? That's, that's what I want to know. Have a whole different life. Best for last. Best for last. The menu is last. Okay. Um, I literally have so all the links. Obviously, we have our business license, which is on the like the server website. Um, play handbook. There's actually you ready for this? Is this sharing still? Yes. Yeah. This is a <laughs> event catering form. So if you want to hire our food truck nice. to show up at your events, oh, literally gotta fill this out. You gotta literally fill this out. The great part about this, you think it's just an Excel spreadsheet. I'm not sure if you guys have actually used Google Forms. Yes. When you hit oh. submit, this will actually auto-populate over here. Shut. This, this is incredible. This is so incredible. Uh, 
I have a employee I'm roster. Upset, dude. Yeah, I have the employee roster currently with like information. Um, my favorite part, I did this by myself. This is what Dodge will be stoked for. Oh this is, my you see, god, how do I zoom in? How do I zoom in on this? Can I zoom in? It's too, it's too small. Hold on. Uh, you can't really, I'll, I'll edit it. I can zoom in. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see the right side? No, I'll do it right here. Line 22, all right? Or 24, whatever. So say you place an order in game and I'll get to the menu. The menu's next. It's, I know I'm a super I'm nerd. So you guys can know. cut all this. So you guys can cut all this. I'm very no, invested it's so in this. Fun. Um, wow, I so need is... to take time to like so watch this. Because I gonna... literally created this, this, this spreadsheet. So, you know, like I have up here, like beach snacks, $10, mm -hmm. whatever they order, say they ordered two. Yeah, you could do the math, correct? Or not or, the formulas, not the formulas. <laughs> so if I do two, you look at the total of here. <laughs> My God. Pop, I see the total. But not even then. So you think like, oh, okay, whatever. That's just for that one field. No, if I enter two on the main events, which I'll get to the menu, you'll, that'll make sense. I had three it updates with the correct total as well. Oh. Uh, okay, who designed your logo? How'd you get your logo? Um, uh, I have a, we have a, uh, a Rex and Round fan and a, uh, Matt Miles who is in my streams all the time. Uh, he does like little minor design work, uh, and he offered to build it, make it for me when I, uh, talked about the company. I love uh, like, it. Yeah. So he made the whole That's big so homies, cool. which you see right here, the big homies bar and grill. Um, our place, our location where we live in the game is actually near the beach. So we went with beach vibes. Is yes. it a front um, tree? It like looks so good. Like it looks like it yeah. could be like very SoCal. Uh, we've actually in stream, I was showing off the website and somebody was like, oh, wow, you guys are really opening a thing. Oh, cool. I can't wait to visit California to see it. I'm just like, I was <laughs> like, like, oh, you're new here. You're, you're, <laughs> you're new here. This is, this is you're like quick. They, we need a food truck. Quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they don't come to my stream often enough, so they didn't really oh, okay. understand. It was, you should have played it. along. That would have been funny. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, so here's, here's where, so that was the fun. That was the fun, but we cool. have a sale. We obviously have expenses and sales and all the other financial. You have gumbo, gumbo. Wow. Expenses, yep. This is we got to pay so for the business much. lessons monthly. Um, mm -hmm. This is where the fun part comes in. We have a legit website. <laughs> like, the, this is like, so. I'm obsessed. It's <laughs> BigHomiesBG.com. It's a legit website. You can access it right now. Um, has all this. Like, this isn't, this is, I don't know. So I had one of my buddies actually create this. Um, and I don't know where he got these food. Damn, they look good. Uh, we have a location. Look at the GP, the like Google Maps location. <laughs> oh, Losing my mind. So um, I'm, I love this. <laughs> this Holy is the menu. Wow. Legit have a menu. So be serious says beach snacks, which makes sense now that you look over here where it's like kind of, instead of adding each item, I just kind of added like beach snacks was appetizers. Mm -hmm. uh, main event, which is like a regular burger. Then we also have my favorite. It's just the homies choice, mm -hmm. which is like the house choice. So you got uh, the flat homie double stack, flat homies. We call burgers flat homies because... <laughs> whatever you know what i mean big homie vibes you make me want homies. to like visit this yeah, yeah. like Place. suddenly like, i'm hungry for, you, and then you have to do the whole application process just to get into the what it, uh so yeah the, yeah to get in the server you actually have to apply for the server because they make sure they want to make sure you actually know how to role play and can you know understand the rules it's a process um my favorite is chad's famous pancake ligma food. sugma creation Oh, uh, yeah, Ligma Sugma. We have a fraternity <laughs> called Ligma Sugma. It means nothing for the adults. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> Ligma there are Greek Sugma. letters over yeah. here. So. We, are in a, we are in a fraternity called Ligma Sugma. Um, but we have, yes, yeah, so we have Chad's famous pancake smoothie, which I'm not, can you still see it? Is it falling up there? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Really uh, good view, yeah. Uh, well, too late. Oh, my God. Well, Chad's famous pancake smoothie. $25. It's $25 in game, which is actually not bad. Uh, and then the big homie hot dog smoothie challenge. Hey, okay, you need to talk about this one because this is where you lost me on the menu when you were just. Oh my God. You. So you should what talk. What are you about. talking to? The, the, it's right like, there. Oh, we take, we, first of all, we boil our hot dogs because okay, we okay. boil in this household. So the, the, well, the challenge itself, it says, 
free hot dogs blended with hot dog water ice. That's why that's where we get the water. That's where we get the hot dog water ice ice cubes from. We boil the hot dogs. So we take the boiled hot dog water and we freeze it. And that's you know you make a smoothie. It's usually with ice cubes, right? <laughs> well, in this case, it's with ice cubes, just hot dog water. <laughs> And then you have ketchup, mustard, and relish. Suddenly, I gotta go. <laughs> Suddenly, listen. There's a reason it's a challenge and not like a like a. Oh, it's just as normal. Uh, it, yeah, it's it's interesting. But Wait, uh, how do we contact you? I want to contact. This is it's only in game stuff. It's only it's literally Dang. our in game my in game phone number, Cat Spooner. Oh. And then my the Discord the Discord uh, information as well. Uh, and and our Stokely. Aren't yeah, you this, aren't you the business yeah. owner because your friends do illegal stuff and they don't want yeah. to <laughs> you can't in game you can't have a you can't have a or like submit a business if you had like a felony in the last like month or so. Um so here let me stop sharing this. So yeah, so they committed a crime and I'm the I'm the cleaner one. And uh so yeah, I'm the business owner. I mean most so I put in I also put in most of the work. What is the prison? Uh, it's, it's, the, it's a prison. It's no, I know, but like, like how, like if you like kill someone, mm -hmm. you know, do you get banned uh, or no? So you gotta have a good reason. Like it's not really good reason, but there's gotta be like, say you you shot somebody and killed them. Um, in a sense, um, you yeah, you know, there's like laws and stuff that determine the amount of time you serve. Um, so it could be anywhere from like thirty minutes. You're in the actual jail. To like somebody has spent has had like I think like two hours, two to three hours in there because of that, like how much crime they've committed in one go. And they're si literally sitting in prison where they can't really do much for that amount of time. And you can't and, like uh, log off, right? You have to like uh so you can log off, but the time served slows down. So it's like you are stuck serving your actual crime time. Um it's just, I mean, it's one of those things because, like, if you, I guess it's one of those, if you didn't do that, if you didn't, if they didn't put you in jail for a while, then you could just run around town killing everybody. I, I, I wish I had known about stuff like this, like, during quarantine, like, when I, like, when I had, yeah, like, really literally was... nothing to do for 24 yeah, hours. I, I just discovered it, like, two months ago. So, yeah. Because, yeah, like, it's, like, I love The Sims, and this just feels like The Sims, but, like, on crack. Sims with murder. I say it's The yeah. Sims with murder. Uh, well, you well, can murder in Sims if you yeah, try yeah. hard enough, but just more than a pool, more than a pool. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, if you mod your Sims, you can kill people, but true, 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 true. But like, yeah, no, it's just like way more in depth than that. So, yeah. I it's wish when I had all the free it, time in the world. It makes zero sense, but it is so much fun when it does make sense to it's, you. Explaining to people, I'm like, it's no, I know it's ridiculous, but uh, listen, I enjoy it. So shut up. It's like no, like I know <laughs> it's. It's really Watch entertaining. It. Like Watch. it's so addicting. It's so good. And obviously, you're great at streaming. Like you're literally. I've seen a lot of streamers. Like you got me into. I made my twit my Twitch account to watch you stream. I would like you like to say that. And I've tried other streamers, and they suck compared to yeah, you. Yeah, I only follow two people on Twitch, and it's Greg and Will. It's <laughs> it's tough to stream. A lot of people don't get it. A lot of people don't get it. It's just not just you playing video game. It's you conversing. Entertaining. Yeah, you got your you're an entertainer. Building a community. Yeah, right. Like you literally, you have created such a fun community. It's so much fun going into the chat and seeing everyone. So I'm really appreciative of that. We love what you do. Keep Thank doing you. that. <laughs> Thank you. Or we go real quick. We do this thing called like, I don't oh, know no. if we have a name for it. It's, I guess, content creator of the week. So like that, I didn't really give you prep time for this, but it's basically where we just like shout out someone that we really like in whatever we like. It doesn't have to be, you know, Star Wars or anything, but it could be like a streamer that you really like. Do you have someone that you would like to recommend to our listeners and to us that you like a creator that you really like? I'm putting you uh, on the spot right now. So. Do you guys like Lego? A really weird niche, not weird, yes. but niche like, some people love Lego. Some people, I personally have zero interest in Lego. So it's uh, it's 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 one of those things you like it or you, you just don't care. Mm -hmm. Um, if you like Lego, I have a guy named Pen, uh, his name goes Pen Fred Nudo. I know um, what you're talking about. I perfect. love him. Okay, love that guy. Uh, the first time we met that we first, ugh, first time we met Freddie was at Galaxy's Edge. We had a we had a lot of um drinks. <laughs> um, and I barely remember meeting him. 
but I do remember his spork. Do you remember the first time, uh, you know, the first time, you remember like when Jackson had the sporks, the metal yeah. sporks? So he apparently went that day to buy a spork and then go home. We went there and he saw us and hung out with us. And when pictures where we all, we were all doing like lightsabers, we all had lightsabers, guys, there's lightsabers. He had a spork and it was the greatest and coolest thing ever. And it's, we've kind of, he's known as like this master spork wielder uh, ever since. And, uh, but he does, he started streaming. He's a, he's been a big supporter of mine. And then I was like in his test streams. I was like, oh, Freddie's streaming. Let me check him out. And like his day one. And uh, ever since then, he's, he's grown and he's, he was doing video games for a while, doing a variety of video games. And has since randomly transitioned to just building Lego. And then as much as I oh, want to say Legos, because you think le- the proper term for plural Legos is, is still Lego. I don't get it. I, I've, been, I've just been yelled at that that's the proper way. Okay. Um, and so he did that, and he builds Legos, really chill vibes. He gets party mode sometimes. He does something, and it's just like dances. And, and yeah, so he's really cool. Uh, if you like Lego, do you like just chill vibes? Like people will sit there and have him on their TV or mm-hmm. monitor or whatever and build Legos like as they're watching. It's really cool, really chill vibes. Pan Fred Nudo, uh, I think everywhere. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I know on Twitch. Definitely. And, and Instagram. Awesome. We thank you, thank you. We'll post that. Thank you for sharing that. Am Any, I still blurry? Is that is, a is little just me? Bit. You're a little yeah. dang it. I don't pay this much for these cameras. I literally I'm cannot blurry. tell. You now okay, you're cool. wishing you had a MacBook. Crap, yeah, my camera. camera right now. Right? There's wow. nothing to focus on. <laughs> wow. It's a <laughs> webcam, so yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's an expensive <laughs> camera too. So it is what it is, I guess. But <laughs> Any um, last things to say? Anything you want to say, Greg? Um, is your chance to literally say anything you can't say on the Rex Around show, I guess, or streaming? Um, or thank you for allowing me to have the spotlight, not share it with Michael. Uh, he gets it enough. The little any time, Greg. Any that guy. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> we love him, but yes, we're. Oh yeah, as we said, so why? <laughs> we uh, yeah, obviously. Well. Thank you so much for joining us and literally saying, we honestly didn't think that you were going to say yes. So the fact that you did, like. I almost didn't show up just for the memes, but I decided. I I was a little worried about that. I was like, that's why I texted you. I was like, hey, so you're still showing. (laughs) Greg, you light up our life. Yes. So that's the the actual light behind you. Um, (laughs) LEDs. Thank you. I appreciate it. (laughs) well i don't say compliments if you couldn't tell all right now is your oh, chance is, to plug, is, plug yourself on yes. all your social media greg, where um, can we find you uh honestly go get a greg on twitter it's go greg five because some random girl that has had the username uh, before me let's go get a greg but hasn't tweeted anything for like two or three years so let's go get a greg five on twitter it's really weird i just also feel weird about messaging or try to get it back um i don't that's i just wanted to get that out there made that uh, mistake of tagging yeah that person before I, i've done it yeah i've done it i've done it myself i, I <laughs> tagged myself and i was like oh i can't use that tag because it's not me mm-hmm. um yeah so i mean many many twitter and and twitch right now my instagram uh twitch does or excuse me instagram does not like video game footage so i get zero traction mm-hmm. on instagram I'm not cosplaying anymore on Instagram, so I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. My Instagram exists for what it exists, but my main uh, platforms that I use currently are Twitter and Twitch. So go get a Greg or go get a Greg five on Twitter. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending an hour with us. We really appreciate it. We had so much fun. Um, we will see you on your stream. We will all be there. Oh, yeah. We will all be I'm, there. I'm very invested. Well, after that was like, please don't lump Greg. me with this. Greg, we will. I'm putting this. I'm putting this on film right now, so we all have to be there. So no pressure, girls. Okay. okay. Yeah. Look at Kath. Look at us. Like, please bring don't, that up with my boss. Me. But like, okay. <laughs> they don't need to know. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much, Greg, again for being on. And um, we will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.